what is up you guys welcome back to another card fusion video so yes this video is late but I, I figured I couldn't leave it just like that I had to um obviously do like a follow-up since Beanie Man has responded um, via Instagram he basically you know said that I'm glad the artist hear him and it's two years now since you know the music you know people have been supporting his music and fans in Jamaica are not seeing him he's basically saying he's paid his due and I'm not gonna read it word for word but I'm just gonna summarize he's paid his dues dues to dancehall in Jamaica Alkaline should do the same which that is true Beanie Man has paid his dues but one of the things what I, I don't actually agree with is that Beanie Man has basically threw a straw man into the work. Yes, Alkaline has not performed in Jamaica for over two years or two years or something like that. But that's not the issue at hand. The, the, the answer that people want to know is, is it true? Did Alkaline actually say this and where is your proof? So you basically erected a straw man, an argument that yes, while it is true that Alkaline isn't playing in Jamaica, People want to know if you tell a lie, you haven't addressed that. And you know, I don't know if anyone spotted that. Where is the answer to you know, you know, what is your rebuttal? Your you know, your answer is a non-answer. Did Alkaline do it and where is your proof? And so forth. So that's for, for me, I'm 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 not impressed. I just figured that, you know, you're making yourself look really bad by, you know, continually you know, shining a light now on what you are doing instead of answering the question. He's basically saying you're a liar and you're basically saying, well, I've paid my dues, you know, so it, it doesn't make much sense to me. Now, on the matter of Alkaline performing in Jamaica, I think, yes, two years is a really long time for your fans not to see you perform in Jamaica. Um, you know, it, it, it comes off really badly. And because, you know, obviously Alkaline doesn't do interviews, and so forth there's that audience connection that most dancehall artists have with their fans it's not really there with alkaline fans you know what i'm saying he's there and not there and i suppose you can see it one way or another it's either part of his allure and part of his selling point but at some point i think that he needs to step up to the plate and actually do something um for his fans equally though i don't hear much of his fans saying oh we need to see you or we need to see you now you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is like a, a, str a strategy on his part or not. You know what I'm saying? But again, because Alkaline is so scarce, people will speak on your behalf and miss and, and in this case misrepresent you because right now no one knows what, whether or not what Beanie Man says is true or if it's, a, you know, if it's just a lie. It's still up in the air because Beanie Man no answer and say, you know, say I like this brother, I tell her, you know, my ear from out of my own mouth when you and such and such sat and talk. You know, people will speculate. And, you know, I don't really want to add to the, the whole speculation that's going on. But if I was to have a, a, a guess at this, I figured that this all started with, obviously with Sting and, you know, you know, Heavy D and, and um, Leng come on, come on, uh, on stage, I think it was, saying that, you know, that there's no artist that's willing to, to do Sting. But a month before that, they were asking artists to work for free and no one gave a shit. No one looked, right? So now everyone's saying, well, Alkaline could have saved Sting. I don't think Alkaline could have saved Sting. Sting's problem is bigger than the artist. And it's actually really shady of, you know, the Sting promoters to then blame the artist for their lack of work ethic and business mind because they sting was dying a long time ago and people might say yo don't say it but it's true you know the sting is the only show that people say they're not going to do so i think there there must be a talk about it because even for the hype you know like a month ago was saying that oh alkaline say i'm not doing a show for the next two years that means people are talking you know things are in the streets and, you know, one person said something, the next person says something, and it becomes Chinese whisper. So where is the truth in between all of that? So, you know, what I would like to see Alkaline do is, you know, you know, remember when the whole thing was going on with um, Conscience and um, what's his name, uh, DeMarco? And he basically said, look, if I don't speak up for myself, someone else will speak up for me and, and misrepresent me. So here what I'm going to speak to my fans. And he just basically did. A, 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 you know like a video thing where he just spoke and, and addressed the situation at hand I think that needs to happen and as far as you know Alkaline not performing in Jamaica I think it, it's full time full time though I think it needs to happen because you know what it's looking really really bad um, you know what I'm saying to, to have everybody else seeing you and you know your fans in Jamaica can't see you 
you know what I'm saying? It, it, it don't look good. So I definitely think that he should be doing something like that. All right then, even if you should say, give him the benefit of the doubt, he's probably thinking, okay, if I go to Jamaica, enough man are gonna run out, run up on stage and try for ambush a thing. Okay then, if that is the case, then maybe, just maybe, do a private show then where you know, see so your fans are gonna come through and support you. You know what I'm saying? But this staying away from Jamaica, it's it's causing other people, you know, basically adding fuel to the fire. Um, you know, at the same time, <laughs> you know, you can't force somebody to for, for have a caring they don't feel if he genuinely does not care about his fans in Jamaica. And, I, and then, I don't know, then it's going to start to show sooner or later. But I think some of it is to do with logistics. You know what I'm saying? Can you trust the people who are, go you know, can you trust that they will keep you safe? Because remember, say, from the way it's looking, enough people want to take a shot and, you know, might run in and ambush and sabotage his thing where my father will probably fight and then next thing you know, in visa get messed up and then he can't move like a lot of the artists them. So there's a lot of things to think about as well. But I think you need to do something about that. As far as Beanie Man, what you have done is again a logical fallacy we see right through it you know what i'm saying we're not stupid you haven't answered the question and you know no disrespect to you being a man you're a big man but it, it's embarrassing you know what i'm saying to to you know shooting at the young artist them you know if you see that something is wrong you know you can approach there's certain things as email you could not say yo try and you know mentor the young youths them instead of you know be one of the other reasons why people you know giving people something to talk you know what I'm saying? That's why people are saying that you are bad. It comes across as bad mind. I mean, I say bad mind, you know, because at the end of the day, I was a day one fan of yours. Still am. My first CD that I bought is your CD. Okay? You know what I'm saying? In Many Moods of Moses was my first album that I bought as a person growing up. So I don't have an issue with you. But I think this, for me, I just find it like highly annoying. Why jump on the bandwagon? It's like a, it's like a trend. But Alkaline, you need for talk up and do something and you know because everybody I take the piss now it looks like it's taking the piss like dude do something okay do something because it, it it's becoming a point now where I think it's becoming a little bit ridiculous one man says something next man says something this man says something this person says something and you're not saying anything and if you're looking at it from the point of view of not giving that person a strength okay but at the same time there is a fine line between being scarce and coming across cowardly you need to do something i think and vendetta fans won't only think only think him for answer i personally think he should you know start for start for fire back now and say all right then 2016 was my building year 2017 will be my year of i guess reprisal or whatever you want to call it but that's where i kind of sit on the whole issue okay you don't have to agree with me obviously but i think yeah it's full time from start with something from fandom kind of do that whole audience engagement thing because he doesn't really engage that well and if he does the people in jamaica are not seeing it so if everybody has said it it doesn't mean that because everyone's saying it makes it true but it should make you start to think well do they have a point and that is the whole point yeah so that you can grow and become better you know and if you have to prove some people wrong you prove them wrong but if you don't say anything you're going to continue to prove them right you know what I'm saying? So that is my stance on that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna come for the soapbox. <laughs> right, we're done. <laughs>